Hello, my name is Kevin Salvage and I'm the European Regional Development Manager for LIDA based in London in the UK. And I'd like to welcome you to this short video, an introduction to the vector scope display. For those unfamiliar with the vector scope display, it can appear confusing and complicated with a rapidly moving trace dancing between a myriad of lines and markers on a graticule display. But once you get to know and understand how to use the vector scope display, it will provide you with an invaluable instrument for television and film production. So what is the purpose of the vector scope display? The vector scope complements the waveform display for the purpose of measuring and testing television signals regardless of format, while a waveform display allows a broadcast technician to measure the overall characteristics of a video signal, a vector scope is used to visualise chrominance, which is encoded into the video signal. In digital applications, a vector scope instead plots the CB and CR channels against each other. These are the two channels in digital formats which contain chroma information. As the vector scope only operates with CB and CR signals, RGB has to be converted to CBCR to be displayed on a vector display. There is no luminance component displayed. So how does a picture translate into a vector scope display? A 75% color bars test pattern translates into the following trace on the vector scope display. As the vector scope plots the CB and CR channels against each other, here you can see from the CB and CR waveform displays how they result in the vector scope display. So let's take a closer look at the vector scope display. The actual visual pattern that the incoming chrominance signal draws on the vector scope is called the trace. Video is comprised of three color components, red, green and blue, RGB. The RGB color model is an additive color model in which red, green and blue light are added together in various ways to reproduce a broad array of colors. The main purpose of the RGB color model is for the sensing, representation and display of images in electronic systems such as televisions and computers. Hue, saturation and lightness, also known as HSL, is an alternative representation of the RGB color model. Hue defines color on the basis of its position in the spectrum. The vector scope display starts with the red primary at zero degrees passing counterclockwise through green at 120 degrees and blue at 240 degrees before returning to red at 360 degrees. Saturation defines the intensity of the colours in the active picture. The further from the centre, the purer the colour is. 100% saturated colour does not contain any white. The LIDA Zen series vector scope graticule includes target markers for the primary colours and can be configured to display either 75% colour bars or 100% colour bars. The perpendicular lines correspond to the U and V components of the chrominance signal. U and V are the two colour different signals that modulate subcarriers in the PAL system. Broadcasts require that the signal be encoded on the I and Q axis. These are a pair of modulation axes 90 degrees from one another but rotated some 33 degrees counterclockwise from the R-Y slash B-Y axis. I and Q are designators used to name the two colour components of the NTSC video signal. Another element in the graticule is a fine grid at the 9 o'clock position or minus U position used for measuring the differential gain and phase. The LIDA Zen series also supports a marker display which allows you to move the cursor on the vector scope trace and display the distance from the centre as a percentage, Q as an angle and CB and CR positions as a percentage to give you 
accurate measurement capabilities. With the introduction of UHD TV resolution, broadcasters can utilize a new wider color space, REC 2020. The REC 2020 UHD TV slash UHD1 UHD2 color space can reproduce colors that cannot be shown with the REC 709 HD TV color space. This has resulted in Arab publishing a new color bars test pattern that supports both REC 709 and 2020. The Leader Zen series supports display of both the Arab STD-B66 and STD-B72 markers on the Vectorscope Graticule. So now that we understand the information being displayed by the Vectorscope, let's see how it can be used in day-to-day -day television and film production. The Leader Zen series products can simultaneously display the vector scope and picture image. The vector scope also supports the capabilities to zoom in to show individual lines of the video signal. The vector scope display also supports both composite and component color matrix display. The composite format allows NTSC, PAL or automatic selection. The vector scope display can also be magnified with gain applied to the input signal in either times 1 or times 5, along with a variable adjustment up to times 2. A marker display window can also be enabled to allow the operator to locate exactly where on the vector scope graticule the trace being displayed is located. So how do we use a vector scope display for television and film production? Well, the most obvious is color matching cameras to ensure that they are both set up identically. And this is achieved by using the vector scope display and a color bars test pattern chart. This will ensure that the two cameras color imagery matches identically and you will not have to carry out corrective work in post-production. So let's have a look at how the vector scope display can be used to adjust and set up correctly skin tone. Pictures that include people can be some of the most challenging to set up correctly and camera match. The main reason for this is that the human brain is used to seeing people every day and knows exactly what skin color looks like. The other challenge we face is that people have different colored skins. Now we think of melanin as the main determiner of skin color, but it's the blood under our skin that affects the hue. Melanin mostly affects brightness and saturation. We all have the same blood, so we all have the same hue. But hold on a minute. Doesn't the vector scope display hue and saturation? So if that's the case, can't we use the vector scope display to correctly adjust the image for skin tone? Earlier on in this paper, we discussed the I and Q axis and conveniently skin color displays a trace along the I axis, as can be seen from the vector scope display on the skin tone bar chart. All the various skin tones from the left to the right appear around the eye axis. This is an extremely useful feature if you are working in a live production environment or colour grading images that include skin tone. Simply adjust the image so that the skin tone in the image is close to the eye axis and then you can carry out the other adjustments as required. The vector scope features described in this video are available on all of the Leader Zen series waveform monitor and rasterizer products. If you have any questions or require any additional information, including the white paper that accompanies this video, please don't hesitate to contact me on the numbers currently displayed on the screen.